that. Here we go. Oh, here's, oh, this is a really good one. Uh, so these couple plants right here with the yellow flowers are wild parsnip. Uh, like I said, this is also a biennial, so this is its second year growth, and you can see here it's just starting to produce seeds. So once it produces this seed and they mature and drop off, the whole plant is actually going to die back. Um, and then all those seed, of course, will, will germinate into new plants. This is one that's relatively notorious here in Iowa uh, because of its uh, propensity to produce a toxin that causes what we call phytophotodermatitis and what you might call a really nasty burn. Uh, so it actually has a chemical within the plant um, that if you get it on your skin, if you were to go right inside and wash your hands, you probably would never know. But unfortunately, uh, most people notice it maybe when they're out mowing or maybe doing some weed whacking and they're wearing short sleeves and they actually uh, maybe break the tissue of the plant and they get some of this liquid on their skin and then they stay out in the sun. And so this toxin, unlike poison ivy, actually requires that not only you get it on your skin, but then you stay out in the sunlight. Uh, and it actually basically makes you hypersensitive to sunlight. So we see people get a lot of burns and blisters from it. It's uh, very toxic. Um, and it's something that everybody should know how to identify uh, in order to avoid it. So there are some key traits to identifying this plant one of which is that it has uh, these celery-like leaves, right? So it's got uh, basically these large uh, lobes or divisions on the leaves. Uh, again, it's kind of this long, uh, sort of an egg shape. Uh, and these are typically very rounded. You can see that the plant is maybe, uh, well, in this case, it's maybe five feet tall or so. So our wild carrot will maybe get like two to three feet tall. This one may get four to five feet tall or so. Um, it's going to have a very ridged stem and it's smooth without any hair. And then you can see that it produces these, uh, like these umbel or these umbrella type flowers. Uh, and these ones are bright yellow. So unlike our other two weedy species, uh, the wild carrot and the poison hemlock, this one actually produces yellow flowers. There is another species here in Iowa uh, that's called golden alexanders. That's actually a native species that can really easily be confused uh, for uh, wild parsnip. But one of the keys to differentiate them is that uh, golden alexanders actually has a uh, fewer divisions to these leaves and very pointy sections. Um, it's also a much smaller plant and it blooms uh, several weeks earlier in the spring uh, than, your po or than your wild parsnip is gonna bloom. Here's a wild carrot, right? Here's a wild parsnip. And then all the tall stuff is poison hemlock.